folks, how are we doing? Gonna be doing a bit of a yard video today because I ain't done one for what well, seems like ages. Got a bit of washing to do. This little tractor wants a service. The El Coyote. So I'm just gonna wash this off. It does get washed off. Uh, yeah, fairly regularly, every, uh, you know, at least every couple of weeks. But it doesn't take long for it to get filthy, as you can see. That's working on the dairy farm for you. Same as the little um, T4, that's the same. Um, that, uh, that lives on the straw chop this time of year, of course. That just gets absolutely covered in dust because it, um, it's in the yard that it's chopping so it just gets covered in dust so every again every couple of weeks I'll give it a birthday clean the windows clean the rads out um, just so I can see out the windows really but um, this little thing's doing brilliant nearly done a thousand hours now the brush is going great that's still the original brush um, yeah going to treat the little coyotes and the little satin brush so anyway, let's get a um, bit of water flowing. We've got a tub of TFR there. Got some of the cows, well not cows. Um, F is round here at the minute, because uh, mucking out over there, one of the yards. So we're just holding them round here at the minute. Here we go. Hence why we've got a lot of, lot of mooing going on. There's a red cow in here somewhere first we've had for a long time it's around the corner i think but um we'll catch that in a bit anyway let's get this show on the road and get uh, get these things clean clean See, look at the dust coming off i'll give the loader a clean then i'll raise the loader up out of the way and um we'll have the bonnet up but give everything a soaking first and get rid of the worst of the muck. I've always enjoyed cleaning stuff. Getting stuff looking presentable again. I say working on a dairy farm, it's um there's many applications agriculture wise where the kit's working in crack quite so much as they are on this job So the little tractor coats very well really considering the amount of dust it's in you know it doesn't get hot the aircon still works well on it and you see how much dust it gathers
Chuck some more of this on the body panels. Let's, let's clean them up a treat then. Can't be a bit of TR, TFR. This is um, Jenny Chem's TFR, this is, which I've always thought is very, very good. And I think I've got it about. 50-50 at the minute, so nice and strong. 
I mean, the best way to apply this really is with a with a pressure washer um, that does hot water as well. Cool, you don't even need to brush it then when you've got one of them. It just um, full pressure with um, TFR and the heat, and it just falls off. But unfortunately, we've not got that technology here at the minute. We've only got a cold water one. Like I say, the, the, um, you can only apply the chemical if it was working when um, on low pressure. But um, ones I've used before, uh, clean well, which is yeah, bloody good washers, hot water, and they can put the chemical on at full pressure. Really good washers they are. They make life a lot easier. <laughs> I'll be amazed if anyone's still watching this at the minute. I really will. them too clean the coat is now ready for a service so uh, I now can see out the windows of the T4 for chopping so um, yeah good to get back into the yard videos and there'll be plenty more to come as well as like I said got a few interesting ones up my sleeve still so uh, keep your eyes peeled for them but for now I'll uh, say hope you enjoyed the little vid and I'll see you on the next one Ta -ta.